yo, dang, you just, you just said nah. This this doc stuff, I, I'm I'm done. <laughs> yeah, forget forget picking a mid tier. Let's uh, let's go up a few tiers and Three, I actually put him somewhere here. All right, go. yeah, uh, PH Dream going to opt for a completely new matchup here against Mati. Doesn't want to run back that game and watch Doc matchup. And uh, I definitely think this is a great, great character to use against Game & Watch. Oh my goodness. Almost gets taken off the top. That was an incredible string uh, coming off of that explosive flame by PH Dream. But uh, yeah, Game & Watch can struggle against this character because of the uh, great hitboxes of Palutena. Um, really good juggling tools as well. And uh, yeah, just, can also just play at a distance where doesn't really have to worry about getting upbeat out of shield. Yeah. Uh, I think the max range back here um, is pretty good at dealing with like potential upbeat out of shield too from Game & Watch. Yeah, as long as that Dream consistently stays low. Oh, never oh, mind. Nice. I was gonna say, like, there's a lot that Dream has to worry about off stage against Game & Watch as a whole, but like, when you fight Game & Watch and you want to avoid Game & Watch punishing you out of shield, as long as you're consistently spacing that back there, like you said, there's not much to worry about here, but Dream needs to just get those feet on the ground, man, because the way that Mont is playing, yeah, you eat a lot just for just trying to hard land here. That's going to be a back throw. Game & Watch pretty light there, so that'll definitely kill. Yeah, a little bit changes to Palu can make this matchup more bearable for Game & Watch, mainly the uh, grab range nerf of Palu. He does get a lot of reward from her grab, but now that uh, he can't really grab Game Watch as easily, it definitely allows um, Mati to go in a little bit more than he could before. Great stuff, though, with that forward air. Uh, Mati's holding onto his lead now, and this damage, look at the damage rack up so quickly, 31%, just from three nares, continuing to add it up here. Yeah, once Dream gets put in the air, he's just been taking so much percent, and honestly, I, I don't blame him. Palus doesn't, like, if, if she, sometimes it's better to just use her teleport to get to the ledge if you're getting stuck in a juggle situation like that. I was gonna I know say she the has same. a reflector yeah. too, but the reflector's a little bit laggy. So it's honestly always really reflect Yeah, I was gonna say, sometimes it's always a safe bet to just try to just go off to the ledge and go for ledge invincibility and come back that way and just try to see how your opponent's gonna react if you're on the ledge. Because it's better to do that than take a lot of percent and then you have a situation with Dream here where you've just taken so much damage and then you'll lose your stock and Monty will move up 1-0 currently. Because, yeah, a lot of the damage that Dream took was unnecessary. You can avoid all that just by going at the ledge. You don't have to sit, you know, get juggled. You only get juggled because you chose to go back to the scene of the crime. Yeah, he... Maybe he was thinking if I can, like, get out my, uh... My reflector in time, I can like reflect some of these up airs back and maybe land a little bit safer, but it, he just took so much. He just took so much. There is some damage that he's gonna take guaranteed, namely being like the uh, nares to up B or just flat out nair strings in general. But once he starts being in the situation where he's just getting up air sharked for like 20 plus percent, that's probably when you should just opt to try to retreat to the ledge. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. I, okay, okay, okay. I was wondering, like, is he gonna go to the dock? I guess because it's his best character, or is he just gonna try to figure this out with Palu? But uh, yeah, he's still opting to say Palu, still believing in the top tier goddess, and uh, it's still a good matchup for. Her. I think he just needs to kind of really buckle down and really try to uh, get a hang on Monty's habits in this matchup. Yeah. Kind of look at your your neutral with your opponent and how they play but he's around you and how they move. And then you can look to punish them afterwards. So far, Dream is kind of leading the charge here in game two, so it's looking a little bit different. And honestly, look at the... Yeah, that's that's kind of like what I'm liking about Dream so far, is Dream is kind of moving and moving his feet around, kind of empty hopping, short hopping, going with some aerials to call out Monty before he gets the opportunity. A lot of commitment from Dash Tech at the ledge. Would have been good if you got it properly, but unfortunately now you've let Monty get the upper hand on you. But Dream finally able to come back, plants the feet at the ground before any more juggles can happen. Very important in that situation again. Like you already see how much damage he takes when he's in the air like that. Oh my goodness, he's gonna take the down smash, but unfortunately for Dream, it wasn't the very animation. Uh, definitely would have led to the kill if that was the case. 
definitely would have heard for Dream Crawl, but the movement Dream has been putting in slowly. Down to four there, yeah, not killed to say him. Monty up at pretty high percent. Oh, wow, that's a full bucket charge. Able to ride himself right back to the stage. That would have been a great call out. Unfortunately, this time, Dream not going to go for those higher options. Oh, oh no. The big snipe? Wow. Yeah. He caught the drift back with the bacon. But big up here. Uh, yeah, Mati keeps jumping in that specific spot. Very risky against Palu. That up air is incredibly disjointed and powerful. And it's going to kill Light Game Watch relatively easily. So you got to be careful with that. Oh, man. That dash attack actually was not a bad idea only because of the armor. And it's yeah. really good at catching Manny's, but he just barely whipped. I would love to see more dash attack though, just to see if you can catch him like trying to uh, game out trying to like space of falling back there and he just dash attacks the landing. I do know the dash attack kills too, so that will definitely help him out later percent. But right now, oh my goodness, lands directly into the up smash. Very brave man, but max range dash attack relatively safe on shield. Not enough to kill. Oh, but the snipe, great landing trap with that explosive flame. Yeah, that's the common option from Game & Watch is to use that downer because it has such an, a long active hitbox that you can just essentially call them out just to go for the number one play that you can go for. Especially when they're getting, when we're in the verge of getting juggled, they're trying to run to the stage. I've sniped the jump. Yep, straight to the ledge though. Oh! Oh, Dream not paying yeah. attention to that up smash. Maybe he was expecting to release a little bit early so he could use some of the invincibility for him to get past it, but backishing to the up B. Oh. No. no. This put Dream in such a tough spot at the roughest angle to try to recovery, and like that, Monty will move up to losers' finals.